I guess it's quite different than, than, than most sub movies in one or two respects. First of all, it's kind of a treasure hunt movie. It's a heist movie in one level. Um, uh, but also it's not naval. The, it's, not, it's not anything to do with the Cold War or the Second World War. And this is about a bunch of guys who used to be in the Navy um, who are now kind of feel like they've been thrown on the scrap heap of life and they've come together to, you know, banded together into a, <clears throat> into a group to try and find this uh, salvage, this treasure they think is on the bottom of the ocean and the bottom of the Black Sea. Um, so there isn't the normal kind of uh, um, the normal trappings of the military hierarchy and of you know wartime things. That's that's not in this movie. So in that way, it's it's very different. Um, there's something. There's also a sense of class struggle in this in this film. I mean, it's it's like people who are being screwed by the system who are paying. Yeah. Well, you know, we all should be talking about the class struggle, shouldn't we? I mean, people don't like to talk about it, but. You know, it's amazing to me that, that, that it's not, doesn't preoccupy people more that there's a tiny, tiny minority of people who are doing very, very well and everyone else, their lives are you know, economically getting worse and maybe in, in, in environmentally getting worse. And, and I guess th these people represent that, the majority, you know, they represent the 99%. They're, they're, they're people whose manual skills are all blue collar guys. Their manual skills are no longer valued anymore and nobody cares about them and they're just like thrown, thrown out on the garbage. So they're angry at the, the, at, the, at the bankers, at the establishment, at society. And I think that anger drives them through this movie. But it's also, um, it's a kind of, they want to get revenge in some way. That's as, almost as important to them as getting the money, is getting revenge. 